Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. I am here with the with the girls and they're having their first drink of the morning. Um, I still need to get to the store to get them a proper water, one that can last all night because they drink the two that I have right now so fast. But anyway, welcome to today's video. We have so much going on today. Oh, I'm almost overwhelmed. Girls are down with Sam in the barn doing chores. It is 16 degrees Celsius right now at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, horses are happy and we are going someplace super cool. I'm excited to see how many of you guys remember where we're headed. Oh no. Somebody mentioned that they thought one of our chickens was a rooster. And it turns out that it does look like one of our chickens is a rooster. Oh no. And I wondered about that. Sophie's gonna be very disappointed. Can you guys pick out the rooster? I'm gonna show you the chicken. changed our lives so dramatically like from last summer to this summer is so different before we can go to the special place that we're going we have to do a lot of things we had to make sure that the animals all had enough water to get them through the day we're gonna go and do a bunch of running around things that we have to do before we can go to the special place and then come back feed lunch and then we're gonna go to the special place so another thing that we did is uh, Sam and the girls made the executive decision to put the boys in for the morning while we're running our errands. Girls are out, but when we get back, we're gonna change the pastures around because a storm can't manage the sun. Like he gets so stressed out from being in the sun. Stella doesn't like the sun either, I know. That's why we need to amalgamate our herd, but Stella manages the sun a little bit better and there is shade in the gelding pasture. Storm just needs a little bit more because he's so dark. Molly, my plain white chicken, I renamed to her, him to Rooster because he's a rooster. My chicken's a rooster. Before we can go to our secret place, we have to stop and get groceries to take with us. First stop, steak. Second stop, groceries. We just got the craziest letter. Uh, no. It's from Genevieve. And she lives in Florida. And she gave us an American quarter, which I'm gonna save because we're gonna go to America. And she gave me this little keychain. She gave me this little keychain, which I'm in love with. I love little things. It says my name as a little hook. I'd love to put this on Stella, like as a as a bridal charm or whatever. Could I use this as a bridal charm? Yeah. No. I love it. This is what's crazy about her letter, you guys. Like, did you, she make a keychain for you guys? Uh, there's like tons of keychains in that. Oh. Okay. One says believe. Oh, she made other keychains too. Live your dream. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. They're beautiful. Believe. That's a good one for Storm. And a really good one for Finn. Strawberry. Chocolate. It says imagine. It. And it's yeah, got the light blue. Yeah. Anyway, this is what she says. She says that she's Genevieve, her, she's 11, and she lives in Florida. She's better known as J-M-A-E Equine on YouTube, and I recognize that name, like, a lot. This girl comments a lot. She says she's the hater or the mean. She says, she says, I'm always the one who comments the most mean things and I'm sorry. I've been going through some rough times in my own life. Watching your girls have such an awesome life made me so mad because my life was so bad. I'm also a very critiquing person and I can't help critiquing things. And I've just realized my mistake 
and I've realized that I sound really rude. So I've been riding for almost five years and I feel like I'm doing nothing in my riding and I don't get anywhere in riding. Watching Gabby and Sophie progress so much in such a short time made me really upset. I only get the, to ride once every other week and when I, and when in a lesson. I feel like a failure and that I'm not doing anything right and the fact that I barely get to ride makes me feel even worse because I can't practice. I also don't have a horse and watching your girls have so many horses made me upset because I felt like they didn't appreciate that they got to see horses every day. My sister and I are the only horsey people in our family and it makes me wish I had enthusiastic parents like you guys. I also felt like the girls got everything they wanted. I have to pay for anything I want. I've decided that I'm changing myself. I'm going to try as hard as I can to be as nice as possible. I also am trying to start another business and hopefully people will actually buy from it. Then I can try to get try to get a horse. I'm going to try to lease this summer. My friend and I might also be camping as well. I'm currently saving up for any horse I can. She says that she sent us guys uh, halter or bridal charm. See, I'm a good guesser. Uh, the believe one is for Gabby. The imagine one is for Sophie. I am so good at this. And uh, Laura's has her name on it. And the live your dream one is for Kaylee. I also sent a quarter for your US trip. <laughs> I hope you and your subscribers forgive me for what I have done and I hope that I can change for the better. I just wanted to say one, that I needed to hear this right now and two, I recognize you, I know you from your comments and some of them are not mean, some are kind and three, thank you. I just want to thank you for this because it is easy for every single one of us to get caught up in our own emotions. Every single person watching this and watching our videos has or has, does, or will get caught up in their own emotions and it affects us so strongly. I understand, I understand, and I just wanted to say thank you and it means so much for you to explain yourself. I understand all the things that you feel. We've been there. I mean, we've gone through times where our kids have gone to horse riding and have been the odd man out. We've gone, when we went to Fiona's camp, my kids were the worst riders in the whole thing, even though they've been riding longer than most of the people there. Like, we've gone up and down, and yeah, our life is changing really fast, and we're growing, and yeah, our life is changing really fast, but five years ago, I never, ever, ever would have believed that we would have these horses. Like, it's, Shocking. Five years ago, mom would not go to any lessons. Yeah, five ever. years ago, I never even went to the horse lessons when the girls rode. So I just want to tell you that be grateful for what you do have. Don't look at all the things that you don't have. Look forward. Look at the things that you do have. Some kids never get to ride, even though once every other week is not a lot. Just be grateful for that. And God has a plan for your life, and all the things that you're doing now are to prepare you for what He has planned. It takes such great maturity to realize all the things that you put in your letter and I'm so proud of you and I think that you are a success just from that. Your charms that you made are a beautiful and amazing and I love them and you'll be seeing them in our vlogs. Thank you so much for that. Oh my God, Sam just hit a kid. Sam just hit a kid on a bike. He ran out in front of us. We needed their phone number. Oh, we hit a boy. We we're driving down the road, he came out from behind a parked car, his friend came first, and That's Sam started to slow down, and he just flew right out in front of us, and I just started screaming, closed my eyes, Sam hit him, he rolled up on the hood a little, he's completely unharmed, his bike is completely unharmed, Sam was so close to slowed, but we called the police, and I just want to point out, I did not freak out too bad, oh. but now I'm starting to freak out. So Sam's in the back of the police car, you guys. Like not even joking. Okay, so basically what happened was that we were driving, just turned a corner and there was a big huge trailer on the other side of the road. Black trailer. Black trailer and a bunch of kids who were getting ready to cross the road. They couldn't see because of this trailer on the road. So one kid just flew out in front of us and started to slam on the brake. Kid went off and then another kid came right behind him. He saw his other friend go, thought that he would be okay, came, I closed my eyes and screamed, typical amazing Laura response, and uh, jumped out of the car. I, I, like, Not that loud. Dad was heading out of the car, Mom was like, get out of the car! 
yeah so anyway uh the kid was fine we have a little scratch on our on our hood um but we called the police obviously because it's illegal not to and because imagine your kid came home and said somebody ran me over and didn't call the police and because even though the boy he was uh 13 said He's that one year older than yeah even though he said it. that he I, was, I guessed it i, guessed I was like 13. you guys no, are no, guessing no, their no, age no, in no, the no, back I, I said 15. um so he was like 13 and i'm like then that Perfect. Yeah, and and anyway, so uh, like I, I don't know if the boy really wasn't hurt or whatever. So the police just got here, and so yeah, then we're gonna go home, feed our horses, and hopefully get to our secret destination today. Um, <laughs> but I got out, and we met like all these amazing boys, Gabby's age. Like we don't know anybody where we live now because we moved someplace new. Yeah, um, the first time we meet people, I'm like, it's, uh, Gabby, you should have brushed your hair today. Her. Because did you brush your hair today? No. Always brush your hair, you guys, because you never know when you're gonna meet the cutest no, boy you're ever. Hit or when you're gonna the hit bike. the boy. Yeah. I'm like, Gabby, look at all those boys up there. They're so cute. And she's like looking at her phone. She's like, oh my god, this horse is gorgeous. I'm like, yep, I know where her heart <laughs> where her heart is right now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's what happened. And we, yeah, like the old Laura would have totally freaked out, but it all worked out well. God puts you where you need to be, and even when the situation is not doesn't turn out as well as this one sometimes I think during really hard situations it's hard to know that God is there and, and directing everything that happens but that's something really important to remember anyway we met some people where we live it literally took two hours to make a report that Sam hit got to leave like that the guy said okay what's your name what's your phone number are you okay yeah okay see you later Sam come with me in the back of the police car for two hours actually we waited for the police for like an hour and then we he had to do a report for an hour so our plans are changed it is now 3 30 and it's too late to go to the special place that we were gonna go but we will be going tomorrow I also started pouring rain and unfortunately uh, the place that we want to go it's not a fun place to go in the rain so tomorrow Tomorrow's a holiday here and we're gonna go tomorrow. But in the meantime, girls have gone down to feed our horses super late. And um, I'm gonna give the horse, uh, I'm gonna check on the chickens. Uh, Sam bought this thing when we went to get shavings. He picked this up, it was on sale because the store that I wanna buy the different water feeder um, is closed. So for the next couple of days at least, we're gonna use this. Change of plans, we're going to our secret destination. But before we do, one stop that we made today was you know, remember the girl that was selling Remember the girl that was that sold us those amazing horse leggings while we went to her party and the girls hey. got yeah, there's hay everywhere. That's what being a farm girl is all about, yeah. sister. <gasps> so um they got New okay. leggings, so Sophie got those ones, which I love on her, and she got those ones, which I love this color on her, and these are my favorite ones of them all. These are my favorite ones of them yeah. all. Yeah, Gabby, are you bringing new uh, leggings? No, we're not sleeping there. No. Okay. All right, let's pack up. guess where we are girls are afraid of a walk we are at where are we the trailer. trailer we're at the trailer so if you guys have been following us since last year then you will know that we have a place that we go Whoops. I look there's my horse painting we have a place that we go in the summer at the beach and it is crazy fun yeah so this is it last year we spent the whole entire summer here we took all of our excitement over our horses and made this into our horse themed trailer um our colors for our horses were red and blue and we put all of our red and blue furniture out here we put lights for out here and that are red and blue we did our lawn chairs red and blue we have more cushions inside that are red and blue for this we have lounge chairs i'm either going to take them home to yeah so this is it this is the place that we're gonna get to enjoy maybe sundays maybe every sunday we can come here because saturday, saturday is saturday is horse show day 
So we are having these amazing marinated steaks for supper. How come you have five? There's only four of us. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm having one, one two, I'm one, having two. two four, wait, five. one, two, three, four, five. One day soon I'll do another trailer tour. It's basically just a big, huge room. And then inside here is like the kitchen and our bedroom and yeah, so I do not know what the future holds for us and our trailer because um, We have horses at home on a farm. I don't know <laughs> what we were thinking But we found these at the trailer. Oh nice Anyway, the reason that we like being at the trailer is because there is a beach we can swim There's a pool a heated pool we can swim and there are friends there are friends here some of our friends here have horses and we can spend time with her family here. My grandkids plan to spend a lot of time here this summer. So yeah, that is it. I think we're gonna end today's video though because we're gonna sit down, have supper, race home, put the horses in for the night and give them supper. That is our life now, you guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.